Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at BFX. Uh, hope you all had a great trading week last week and I'm looking forward for the upcoming week. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the measures uh, including gold and crude oil. So while I wrote the intro and disclaimer, hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Welcome back guys. Well, uh, as news event for the upcoming week, we have two big events, the FOMC on Wednesday and then we have the BOE Monetary Policy Report on Thursday. Um, for the uh, FOMC, there is uh, no expectation of any cut uh, for uh, this month uh, meeting. As you see right now, the market is pricing in 86.7% um, as no change of rates. And uh, for the BOE, the situation is a little bit of a 50-50, even though the um, uh, Forex factory here uh, pointing uh, that um, no change is expected. Um, if you read uh, somewhere else, uh, other places, uh, there is expectation about 50-50 uh, there. And um, the most important uh, headline going to be also about this um, situation with the coronavirus that is uh, ongoing right now that is shaking uh, some of the stock markets uh, especially in asia and uh, seems like we start seeing that also in the us so uh, as you see uh, china virus ability to spread uh, getting stronger and stronger as uh, reuters is um, saying uh, here and um, yeah the um, uh, <clears throat> there is uh, more than 2,000 people globally infected now and uh, 56 in China killed by the disease. So um, as you see, it is uh, spreading now and uh, we've got uh, a third case of the new uh, coronavirus have been re registered in the U.S. Uh, as well, uh, Orange County, California. Uh, so... Um, it is spreading. We know that uh, there is also confirmed uh, uh, cases in Australia and uh, France uh, and other countries at the moment. So uh, you need to keep that in mind and keep watching those headlines, but because they are really moving the markets at the moment. So if we start with the charts and with the Dixie as usual, you remember last week I've been talking about uh, the importance of uh, this level and uh, that if uh, that area got broken, we may see continuation to the upside and the dollar. So last week we had uh, a bit of a dip back down to then uh, see the breakout. The price is now back above the monthly uh, R1 and back above the 200 moving average on the, one, uh, on the daily. And of course, uh, it broke above uh, the neckline. So this neckline is now broken. And uh, my expectation is uh, possible continuation to the upside. If we go down to the four hour time frame, we see that we still see the same situation an impulse correction, another impulse correction and another impulse. So uh, keep an eye on the 97.75 on this market uh, or for the dollar for possible continuation, especially if the price do another retest of this uh, uh, bullish trend line there is uh, possibly a continuation to the upside to around 9850 uh, area uh, is where i'm expecting the market to move at oil also uh, bearish uh, it broke uh, to the downside strongly also oil um, uh, lots of uh, uh, talk about uh, the dip in oil is because uh, the uh, coronavirus and uh, the dip we had uh, we had uh, in some of the stock markets so uh, this oil uh, moved to the downside um, probably uh, the the biggest reason is the situation in china um, oil did reach a uh, 54 level which is a also another important support level looking left we see how many times this area been tested as support and resistance and uh, if we uh, would see a break below that the next target or the next market objective would be uh, the 51 area yeah it is a clear level down here that uh, may get tested if that um, support 
support at around 54 gap also uh, broken so on the four hour time frame you see it clearly uh, impulse correction another impulse and now could be time for another correction keep an eye for that continuation to the downside if we see a break below this level to sell this market from a higher level i would say either a fibonacci retracement to uh, 618 uh, or a retest of that uh, previously broken structure now both of them happen to be at the same level as you see here we have this uh, area here this could be a good uh, kill zone if the price uh, to uh, start correcting to the upside doing something like this then uh, this area up here could be um, a good level to watch uh, to sell that market <coughs> gold pushed higher um, acting as a safe haven since um, we have um, we have had a, a bit of a drop in the stock market so we usually go to uh, move higher but as you see it's been um, trading inside this range and i think um, any more uh, bad headlines and the more spreading of the disease may uh, give gold more push to the upside especially if we start seeing the stocks uh, moving lower um, while talking about the stock market i think we uh, need to keep an eye also on these uh, uh, big companies that are gonna uh, report earnings next week a lot of them uh, gonna report Monday Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday and Friday you have uh, the whole chart here on the the, the big ones that uh, matter uh, to the market um, to keep an eye at because uh, those are gonna be very very important on how uh, what direction we will see uh, but if we look uh, keep going uh, looking at gold we see at the four hour time frame we had a break higher here and it is um, getting closer to uh, a possible level of um, resistance here any i think any break above this level here could uh, signal continuation to the upside for gold to maybe tag this uh, previous high and uh, for the downside we still have the same support that is the uh, 50 and 50 that is uh, the level to look for a possible buy at if there is no break here and a correction start to happen to the downside on gold urusd also uh, broke key level and uh, there is nothing on the way now for this market uh, until it reach uh, 1.10 uh, down here so uh, i'm expecting continuation on euro usd uh, a level to look at for a possible uh, sell would be a retest of monthly s1 and this previously broken structure this area here and uh, the previously broken uh, this uh, trend line here that got broken so look for a uh, any retest of toward this uh, level to then target uh, previous lows uh, down here on uh, euro usd sell rallies um, sterling uh, <clears throat> let's go to the daily time frame and let's take off the pivots for now we don't need them they are for uh, last friday so sterling had a, a break above previous high i was looking for a potential uh, retest and continuation on this one uh, but it wasn't uh, the biggest breakout so it is still a possible uh, correction before a break to the downside in any case the 1.300 is and uh, gonna be the key support level for now keep an eye on uh, this level this is gonna probably be defended if this market keep pushing to the downside look for a possible bounce from this area or if you don't see a, a break below this structure here then there is a possibility that we are still in this uh, continuation to the upside uh, since we broke above previous highs here with this move we broke above this high we broke above this high as well but as you see friday was uh, pretty uh, bearish and uh, strongly to the downside that's why i'm saying that we may want to keep an eye on uh, this key support 1.300 that is the key level that the bulls may want to defend but if broken that will open the door for uh, another leg to the downside toward uh, this area this is very probable if um, uh, the bulls uh, lose the 1.300 area usdjp <coughs> if we go to the daily time frame we see that uh, it is getting pretty weird now so we had first a break to the downside to then push strongly higher and break above this previous level now since <clears throat> we start seeing those headlines about the coronavirus uh, and the the stock market start having a little bit of a trouble uh, Jappy is again back um, 
back on the map as um, uh, safe haven so uh, there is a potentially a move back down toward uh, 10840 on this market um, next week especially if uh, there is no break above this high if there is no break above this area one 10970 this market may continue to the downside so keep an eye on this level as a possible sell area if there is no break you would try to sell it or if this market uh, open with a gap to the downside then look for a retest and continuation uh, all the way toward 10840 there is nothing uh, on the way here as you see if that would be the case uh, this market will drop fast to the downside New Zealand USD also um, still um, still inside this uh, little bit of a range pushing lower but uh, trying to make attempt to the upside and that failed again so on the daily time frame we have uh, a major lower high we have a possible another lower high there was an attempt a good attempt on Thursday after those news release for New Zealand to push higher but then it failed as you see here uh, on the four hour time frame it uh, failed to move higher um, using the 200 moving average on the four hour as a um, dynamic resistance at the moment and uh, i'm expecting that if we break below this level here then you should be looking to keep selling this market so break retest and continuation back down toward uh, probably even toward uh, this uh, broken structure this broken structure uh, was not retested yet so um, any retest below this level uh, you need to look to uh, sell rallies on uh, New Zealand uh, USD that would be uh, the only direction if the break is strong to the downside USD chief also um, back at key resistance so uh, we know that uh, from last week I said that since we had uh, the break here to look for a retest and continuation to the downside we had the first rejection but then the price uh, pushed higher once again back to this area so where the price is testing right now that is still a key selling area and if you want to be more sure you would uh, wait for a break of the trend line and a break of these lows if that would be the case then you look for that continuation to the downside for more uh, bullish uh, reversal to the upside we want to see uh, the market breaking above this high if that would be the case so we have this correction continuation this is right now is a correction unless it breaks above this previous high if that would be the case then we may see some more upside as for now it is still a uh, bearish market impulse correction impulse correction another impulse correction and now we have an impulse and possibly a correction a break below this trend line as i said will signal that continuation to the downside on this market USD CAD also <coughs> bulls are trying to push higher uh, and they uh, managed to do so pretty nicely uh, keep an eye on this previous high this is the key area for um, the bears to defend because if this would be um, a broken structure now then there is a potential continuation to the upside keep in mind the 200 moving average on the daily time frame is start pointing to the downside we have uh, the RSI at the extreme um, soon uh, overbought uh, we have a yearly pivot point we have uh, this whole uh, structure here looking left as a possible trouble area so again uh, we had an attempt uh, last uh, Thursday we saw the market reach at this level here and then failed to move uh, higher with a correction now next week if it fails once again there is a potential move back down toward this area okay otherwise if we see a break above uh, oops if we see a break above this there is potentially continuation to the upside <coughs> Aussie USD now this market also failed to make new high ended up with a lower high here the price is back below the 200 moving average and below this uh, previous swing low so there is potential continuation to the downside here on this market first target uh, could be this area here second target this low down here this is the major swing here so if this got broken then things will be very bad and there is uh, potential continuation to the downside so keep an eye on this low down here uh, for next week if we go down to the lower time frame we see that 
as I said, there is some uh, interesting level that got broken here. And uh, if this got broken, we're going to see the market testing this low down here as well. So um, as, as far as there is no break above this high, you should be looking to sell this market on rallies. So uh, yeah, guys, that was it for uh, the YouTube. Uh, thanks a lot. And um, I will continue to do the rest as usual. Do all these markets for our trading room, including Dow, uh, the FTSE 100 and uh, the DAX as well. And um, yeah, if you want to join our uh, amazing uh, community, we still have the uh, 14 day, days trial for $1 only. You can cancel it whenever you want if you don't like uh, what you see in the room so uh, yeah head to my uh, web page you have the link uh, down below here in the middle of the screen and um, take that uh, 14 days trial for one dollar only thanks a lot guys see you next week bye bye